Twas the night before Christmas. It's probably one of the most well-known holiday classic poems. But the Cowboys thought they'd shake it up a bit. Twas the night before Christmas, and across the Big D, not a player was stirring, not Des or Marty B. The fans were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of touchdowns danced in their heads. When out on the field there arose such a clatter, I went to the press box to see what was the matter. What to my wandering eyes should appear but St. Jerry Jones himself doing a cheer. Then out of the fog came the silver and blue, the players so pumped they were coming unglued. Here it appeared and he called them by name, now Austin, now Barber, now Kazar, now Jay, on Witten, on Brady, on Felix, on T. New, get ready to play. They were quiet and focused and headed straight for the snap, and just like that, a first down before fans could even clap. And then, in a twinkling, I saw the world's largest jumbo screen, the thunderous roar of the entire team. The boys sprang through each quarter, then watched the clock run out. And I heard Tony exclaim as he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all from America's team, and to all, a good night. All right, real or fake? We're talking about Christmas trees. The 33's Candace Crawford joins us after the break with more on her one-on-one -on -one with Tony Romo. Real or fake? Tree. <laughs> Real. No question. We all know what you're thinking. But uh, we're talking about trees. Keep we're your mind. Wendy's Keep your mind on Christmas here, buddy, okay? Plus Charlie Brown or the Grinch. You're a main one. Mr. Grinch. <laughs> Christmas quick fire questions really reveal a lot about the true feelings of the Dallas Cowboys family.